Well, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Alfred Craig, and welcome, welcome to this morning's broadcast, praise God, where this is the day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and glad, and praise God. We're just excited about, about the great thing that God had for your life this year. You know, we're, we're talking this, this whole week on uh, the importance of couples coming together, and we you know, you know, God gave us a word earlier uh, this month called that this 2023 is going to be the year of the supernatural. So we want, we're just doing some things now to get your faith ready for the supernatural. And this week we've been covering on get as a couple, as a couple, getting your faith ready as a couple for the supernatural power of God. Cause you know, God's got a supernatural blessing in store for you this year. Praise God that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. Things that are not entered into your heart, what God has prepared for those that love Him, praise God. And guess what? You know, myself and Dr. Bell, we've been rejoicing all this week because 51 years ago, praise God, we met in a nightclub, glory to God. <laughs> a, a very strange place, but God, it was God orchestrating the whole thing. Yeah. And so just like God orchestrated us in a nightclub 51 years ago, God has orchestrated you and I the same way. Three years later, uh, my wife and I, back in, in 1974, we, we got married. And that's been 48 years ago. This week is 48 years. December 7th, this coming Saturday, 48 years that we've been married together, praise God. And God has done great things. And so it's, it's exciting being with you today. To be able to share with you maybe some of our experiences, you know, some things that we have learned over these last, four, uh, actually 51 years, because the first three years, definitely, even though we were married, we, it was a learning experience. And especially once you got married, praise God, it was definitely a learning experience. So we're using that, plus what the Holy Spirit is want to say to you uh, this week concerning your relationship as a couple in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'll kind of, you know, you know, look for God, you know, uh, each week to see our God, what are you saying to us tonight, praise God, or today in Jesus' name. So, you know, some things I'll be sharing with you, they're going to be very valuable, very important, I believe, to your faith and what's going to happen in your life this year, praise God. I'm going to be speaking a little bit prophetically also this today, because, you know, God gave me some words to begin to share with you. So, you know, I want you to kind of see this today as something prophetic, because we need to learn how to trust the prophetic voice Beautiful. Uh, of faith in one another. Yes. Because sometimes, you know, we, we go everywhere else, <laughs> man, looking for a prophetic voice when God has given you a partner yeah, right in there. your spouse who he will anoint, amen, no matter how spiritual and spiritual think they are, but because you all are partners together, God will anoint you in a very special way to do some great things in Jesus' name. So we're, my son, Dr. Bear, we're excited about this. So today we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, again, trusting the prophetic voice yes. of your partner in Jesus' name. Beautiful. Praise God. So I see Dr. Uh, uh, Montoya is already on, Dr. Bell. Good morning. Amen. Dr. Bell, give him a great big welcome at this time. Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, God is good and his mercy does endure forever, yes. even during the holiday seasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I know because a lot of you might be, you know, under a lot of pressure, you know, but I, did, I don't have enough of my kids, but you know, yeah. them kids going to be all right. They're going to be all right. That's <laughs> right. As long as you don't panic, <laughs> them kids won't panic. That's so it. It'll be all right. And they'll understand. So we just praise and thank God that you're with it this morning. Get your coffee, get your tea, yep. get whatever you need to get comfortable to hear the word of God today. Amen. And our title is Trusting the Prophetic voice of your partners part four amen so this is what we have to do just like we trust in the lord with all our heart yeah we have to learn how to trust our partners you know, even though they make you know mistakes yeah we still have to trust them and know that god is leading them in the way they should go <laughs> so amen. so we believe it today then that, that that's going to it's going to be a transition yes. into that area yes. because the bible said one can put a thousand of flight but two can put ten thousand yes. of flight that means once you and your partner come together mm -hmm. prophetically your your spiritual life will become 10,000 yes. times more powerful Amen. spiritually. And so yes, I want you to pay very close attention to this today, praise God. And so uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to look at, first of all, how then do we, uh, uh, how, do, how do you revive? I got a lot, we got a lot of responses there about this reviving your marriage, right, amen. Right, right. So how do you revive your trust mm. in the voice of faith in your partner? Because mm. sometimes that trust, you know, I don't trust you no more. Mm. Well, we got to get that corrected. Yes. Because as long as you are in that point, you're missing out That's on a right. tremendous blessing for your life amen. and for your marriage in Jesus' name. So Dr. Bell, uh, point number one is what? See your partner as more than a appendage. She or he mm. is your partner. And the Bible says we are heirs together of the grace of life. Mm, and that amazing. 
Let's look at First uh, Peter 3 and 7, what it said, Dr. Bell. <clears throat> Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, mm -hmm. giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Can you see what it's saying there? Is that I need to understand that my prop, that my wife or my or your husband is an heir together. Yes. So that means that God gives us a check that requires two signatures. Yes. The grace of God, which is the favor of God in your life, requires two signatures. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so as long as you're going solo, oh my God. <laughs> doing things your way, my money, what I want. Yeah. Then you're saying, okay, but you 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 you're, you're very making it, but you got a a check. That requires both signatures That's and right. all you guys on your saying you wonder how come you're limited in what God can do in your life yeah. because the, it said we are heirs together mm -hmm. of the grace. That that grace means the favor and the blessing. Mm -hmm. See, so so again, that's why we got to really get this in order because because if God has made us heirs together, yes. then the greatest prophetic voice I can hear is that of my spouse. Mm -hmm. Because they because they may covenant with them. Yes. Okay. Everybody else may have ulterior motives. Yes. They just may want you to be, become my son and my spiritual daughter, so you can be able to give to me in, in, in those areas. But but uh, your spouse is going to have a whole different thing because yes. hey, she want to live in that house through that car too. Hey, Amen. Y'all 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 are in covenant together, mm -hmm. and that's why it's so important <laughs> to get this together in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Point number two is what Doctor Bell. Expose yourself to other couples who trust one another's faith. Mm -hmm. It's worth the investment. So that's right. You know, get around other couples. You know, that trust each other's faith. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, one of the things that we got, got we have the opportunity of doing, being around Apostle Frederick C. Price mm -hmm. and how him and Dr. Betty trusted one another's faith. Yes. You know, right. many times, you know, Dr. Betty would say this and, you know, and Dr. Price, you can see, you know, oh, oh yeah, that's my wife, that's my covenant partner. Also, the, uh, uh, Apostle Ivy Hilliard and Dr. Mm -hmm. Bridget mm -hmm. Hilliard. I mean, to see them, how they trust one another's faith. Yes. You know, the prophetic voice that when, when if the wife spoke, mm -hmm. you know, even though uh, she didn't never try to, you know, uh, drive it, you know, down his throat because you know you can't drive a, a man a, bu a buck on that. If you try to buck, or the woman will buck on that too. Yes, yes. But 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 we got to learn how to start trusting the prophetic voice mm -hmm. in our mate because we are coming with them. They have a lot more to gain mm -hmm. than someone else. That's right. So now while I'm looking for someone to speak into my life. Hey, you got him right next to you in the bed. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you follow me? But see, sometimes we've not understood the value of that. Right. Because we're heirs together, the grace of life. That's so, right. you know, so that's the main person you want in, in those areas. You know, but you ought to be like this person. No, no, no. No, no, no. You, there's a grace on your spouse that no one else can give you. That's right. Are you following? Because God said the two shall become one in mm -hmm. those areas. And so that's important. Point number three is what, Dr. Bell? Do not try to cram what God said to you down your mate's throat. Mm. Let the Lord talk to him or her. That's right. <laughs> can, can you imagine if Mary tried to cram what God said to her down Joseph's throat? Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> Joseph would have been doing his head like this. What you say, woman? <laughs> you talking about a baby and, and it ain't mine? Are you following me? No. So Mary had a word from God, mm -hmm. but she didn't try to cram it down, her, uh, down Joseph's right. throat. So <laughs> ladies and, and men, don't, if God giving you a word, It'll hold. Yes, it will. And 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 God will speak to them. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you're going to get some rebellion out of them because you feel like you're trying to control them in yes, those areas. Yes. But if God is spoken, I would say if God spoke to Mary, God will speak to Joseph. Amen. And so if it's a word from God, you know, you pray about it because God will then confirm it with your spouse mm -hmm. that, he, that's, that this, is, this is his voice. Mm -hmm. And when God speaks to the vo your voice, I don't care if things are still <laughs> looking negative. Right. But when God speaks to both of you, you can move forward in faith then. Mm-hmm. Because both of you then are in agreement that this is God. And you kind of move forward expecting God now, his favor, his blessing, his increase on your life because y'all are in agreement. And now y'all are heirs together so that a house will get together. That's right. My wife and I, like I said, here in, uh, in, in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't come with a whole lot in the natural realm, but we came together in yes, faith. Yes, we did. And we both were in agreement. This is what God is saying. Mm -hmm. And so God now is prospered. Like even what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're together this morning because we understand that, I, and, and, and I do most of the study. I do all the preparation and things like that. But I understand even but when we get on, we're heirs what together. Okay, that's right. It ain't about, it ain't about I I did all this preparing. I did all this stuff. No, 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 no. Once we get on, there's a there's a there's a there's a grace, there's yes. a prophetic grace that's on us as a couple yes. that we yield to one another because it's the it's the way the spirit of God works that's in right. Jesus' name. Uh point number four, Dr. Bev. <clears throat> 
don't minimize your mate as your partner. That's right. Don't minimize them. <laughs> because, you know, you know, you because you, well, well, I'll go, if you don't want to do I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> uh, okay. You just, you just minimize the importance of your mate. It's better to hold back. There's some things that I believe sometimes that, that, that God wants us to do, mm -hmm. but I can see my wife is not fully there yet. Or sometimes she sees some things mm -hmm. that she knows that God said, but she don't see I'm not there yet. Mm -hmm. And see, so, you know, so you don't want to minimize, well, I'm going to do it my own self. Okay, you tried that, but again, you're going with a one, a one signature check. Oh, my God. <laughs> you follow me in those areas. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens so many times in couples' lives. Yes. You know, we, we feel like we can do it on our own. And yes, there, you can be you can minimally do some things on your own, but it's nothing like coming in agreement and, and, and understand it. Don't minimize the importance of your part, your, 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 the prophetic voice also on your mate in Jesus' mighty name. So let's go on down to verse uh, point number six, Dr. Bell. You don't want to do five? Oh, I'm sorry, number five. Go as far as favor and integrity will take you. So many times when you're moving forward, and both of you have heard from God, and you know this is what the God God is speaking to our lives, and maybe all the all the ducks not in order yet, mm -hmm. but you say, all right now, but, but we believe this is God. Mm -hmm. Like when we got rid of this house, you know what I mean? Uh, we didn't have the, you know, they talked about the down payment. We didn't have the down payment on your following me. But yet we moved on it because we was in agreement. And then as time went and this house was being built, the money came in in okay. one way or another. Uh, that when the, when the payment was due or the down, we, a certain amount of money was due for the down payment, mm -hmm. it would always come in. Yes. But we, we didn't have all the money when we first started. That's right. But we did have an agreement. Mm -hmm. And we both agreed prophetically this was God. Yes. Are you following me? So and so what happens is sometimes when you do things on your own, then guess what? You got you got all right, you you, you did it. <laughs> Man, praise God. I think uh, Apostle Healy said one time that, that there was one person in his church that was given a lot of problems, and he said that you know that finally, you know, he prayed and God moved that person, but the person was a pretty big, pretty big giver. Yeah. He said, so he went and started to get the person back. And the person came back and gave him a whole lot more hell again. Yeah. He praised it. God said, no, I, I got rid of him. You ain't got it. Now you deal with him. Right. <laughs> you follow me? So the blessing that you try to get, and nothing like the blessing that you can receive right. if you wait on your mate. Amen. And, you know, in those areas. And so it's going to be very important, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, so point number six, Dr. Bell. <laughs> Praise God. Let me it's a little bit farther down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, there we go. go. I have to respect. That my partner has enough fear of God in them mm. that when that when they say the Lord said it, I really believe it. That's right. That's right. So I can have faith Definitely. in that. You have to. That's right. So I got to respect my partner enough yeah. that I believe that Dr. Bev has enough fear of God in her. Mm -hmm. That if she said the Lord said, and that's very seldom, you know, yeah. we don't consider ourselves prophets. No. <laughs> so we, you don't hear us saying every day, the Lord told me this, the Lord told me that. Mm -hmm. But, but but we both know that if we if one of us said that right. we we yield to that in those areas Amen. and even in our giving yes. you know we you know we don't try to control one another's giving but I know that if Dr. Bell is saying Lord told me to do this I know it's God because yeah. she's gonna be giving the money away <laughs> one time like I said we was in a we was in a building project one time and Dr. Bell you know just raised the hand I'm, I'm gonna give one I think it was one of your diamond rings well I know that was God Amen. I I didn't say you didn't you didn't check on me first on that mm. we we trust one another Amen. enough. That they hear the voice of God. And so then God, we just bought a Rolls Royce. I bought my first little Rolls Royce. It was Rolls Royce. It was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I raised my hand. God just told me to give away the Rolls Royce away. Mm -hmm. I didn't check with her on that. Mm -hmm. Because because she trusts me enough yes. that I ain't going to be giving my Rolls Royce away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, you know, that got to be God. I ain't going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things. But there, there's other things that we do come, we come in agreement on. You know, But there's other things we just trust the prophetic voice in one yes, another, that if, if that person said, this is what God has said, then we yield to that because we, we learn to do that. Amen. Uh, 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 Amen. Oh, we got Gary Wilkinson on. God bless Good you, Gary. Good morning, sir. Amen, Amen. man of God. And, and we're, we're praying for you and I'm agreeing with Amen. you for that because of your bride, that transition. And we Amen. know that, you know, that, that you are right now transitioning with not, not being with her anymore, but Amen. she was a blessing to all of us in Jesus' yes, name. Very prophetic was. also in Jesus' name. So God bless yes. you, man of God. And we also see um, Dion. Dion is on. God bless you, Dion. Amen. Welcome this morning. Praise God. So let's look at this for a moment. This is so important mm -hmm. as far as understanding the value of the prophetic voice in your mate. Mm -hmm. Point number seven, Dr. Bell. I must be in tune with the Holy Ghost and hearing his voice through his word. <clears throat> so in order for me to really, you know, uh, respect the voice that's in my wife mm -hmm. and, 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 and trust that voice, I need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit myself yes. knowing his voice. That's right. Because when I know his voice, 
then I can also know when his voice is speaking through her. That's right. Because it's the voice that I hear mm-hmm. that that I'm that I'm tuned to. Yeah. So I so I've tuned myself to the voice of God. So I, I so my wife is speaking. She may not say the you know thus said the Lord. Ha ma ma ma. She no no. But I can say you know what. That's God talking through her right now. Yeah. That's God speaking to her, or that's mm-hmm. God speaking to him right now, mm-hmm. because I know the voice of God mm-hmm. in those areas. So that's important that as you as you as you learn to trust the voice of your mate, mm-hmm. that you begin to uh, you that mm-hmm. you know the voice of God yourself in those areas. Uh-huh. And then also <clears> too, <throat> like when you do speak, and and it's the Lord speaking through you. You mm-hmm. know, I must I, I must uh, trust the voice that God is speaking through, and then not only that, I must trust it because you know there's a lot of time you know you know they do. You know, my husband might do something yeah. that, that I what wasn't in agreement with it. And next time around, when God really do speak to him, you know, fear come in there. And say, oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we have to learn how to trust <clears throat> the uh, the voice of God that's coming through our husband or our wives. Because, you know, they're filled with the Holy Ghost also. Yeah, yeah. And so, therefore, if, you know, why not trust them? Yeah. Because if, if you tr- start trusting them more, God will do much more greater things mm-hmm. for, for the both of you just by you trusting and you know, I, I make and we make some mistakes sometimes. Oh, yeah. We think it's the Lord. When you when you still first start trusting God, you didn't make some mistakes. <clears throat> I mean, one time I thought God told us to to me to me to stop working and, and go full time ministry. Right. <laughs> you know, and it was the will of God, but it was it was not the right time. The time right. That time. And, and, and man, when we we were broke. Pray, <laughs> oh my God, she had to get on food stamps. You know what no, I mean? No, we had to get on. Food no, I, I didn't want to go down there. I sent her down there. I was too embarrassed to go down there, but we was hungry. And uh, she had to get on food stamps, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it was rough. Oh, Why? God. Because I, I'm learning how to hear right. God's voice. Right. I miss God on that. Yeah. But she continued to trust me in those areas and then That's keep right. it on. And we look at you. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't. No, no. Don't right. do that because you're going to really hurt a person then because yeah. they're, they're, they're developing their hearing ear. Yes. And sometimes they're, what they're hearing <clears throat> is there, yeah. but it's not ready for that yet. That's right. And so then... Because she continued to be encouraged with those areas, mm-hmm. you know, then the next one, God, this built to speak to my heart yeah. after we came from the school and said, okay, now let all the, 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 the hair salon business go yeah. in 1993 yeah. and go full time ministry. Well, at that time, I knew God's voice better. That's right. And I've not been back in the hair industry since then. Amen. Are uh, you following? Right. But several times I thought I was hearing God. <laughs> I ended up back in the hair industry again. Yeah. Hear God back in the hair industry again yeah. because I was trying, I was going, I was learning it, but I was making a lot of mistakes, kind of thinking I'm hearing God's voice. Mm-hmm. It was there, but it was not clear to me, and I was doing it before time. Right. So again, you know, like I said, you, you, you're you going to make some mistakes, mm-hmm. you know, but you still trust one another in those areas. That's right. And then, too, also, you know, if you're not really at a point to where you can really hear God, you need to get yourself out of that situation yeah. and get around somebody yeah. that that's that's, you know, uh, flowing in, 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 in mm-hmm. the word of God and know what God is saying. And yeah. that way you'll be able to hear more clearly, because just like Apostle Kirk said, we were in, in Coolidge, Arizona, and we didn't have nobody to uh, yeah. uh, nobody to really. How, model, yeah, model after. Yeah, model ourselves after. So what God, so what God did, He sent us to Rama Baba Training Center. Yeah. To, he put us in an atmosphere right. to where we can start hearing God much more clearly, and we did. And, and that's what's important. Mm-hmm. And that's why I thank God for all you that are on every yes, day because yes. you're listening to this, mm-hmm. and 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 God is using us and the gift He's put in our life right. to help you become understand God's voice more clearly. Mm-hmm. Because that, it's important. We have to put ourselves in that environment. That's right. You know, where, we, where the voice of God was more clear and yes. separate ourselves from all the other voices. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> you follow me? In those areas. Because, you know, when, you, when, mm-hmm. when you're used to hearing the voice, the voice of God, mm-hmm. see, that's why I say don't have so many people you're trying to hear from. Right. And nothing wrong with being fed from other people. Right. But who is the voice of God right. that God is really speaking to your heart through? That's true. In those areas. So when we were in Rabbi Baba Trenison uh, and we were going to ministry school, mm-hmm. although they called that... Uh, Tulsa run the Bible Belt. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't go to a whole lot of places. No. Uh, I said, God, you sent me here to Kenneth Hagen Ministry. Mm-hmm. I'm, I want to hear your that's voice right. through them. That's right. Are uh, you that's following me? You know, so I, so I, I had to, yeah, that's my set place because I, 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 that person was, was when, I, when I was hearing the voice of God. Mm-hmm. And then from there, went to Apostle Price's uh, mm-hmm. uh, school. And, and I said, God, I don't want to, even though LA is big, a lot of good churches here, I'm not going to be going to a lot of different churches right now because I need to get myself cued to your voice. Mm-hmm. So I'm here to hear the, I'm here to hear your voice through Apostle Price mm-hmm. and those that are carrying his anointing. Mm-hmm. And so that's how I help too because, you know, you can have so much, especially on YouTube now, oh, there's, and think that there's so much going on right now. Yeah. How are you going to really be able to 
hear the, the, uh, the voice of God. <laughs> Are you following? Mm -hmm. I remember I, I heard Papa Tilly give an example one time, mm -hmm. and he said he was with this one man, and all of a sudden they was they went on, they was at his house, and they went on out, they was going outside. Mm -hmm. He said all of a sudden the man started looking real sad. He says, "I hear my son crying." Yeah. You know, you know, I hear my son crying. And so he said the Lord taught him a lesson. Mm -hmm. He said the reason why his he heard his son crying in the midst of it that was going on, because that was not the first time he heard his son's voice. Mm. In other words, you get used to hearing God's voice. And although there's a whole lot of other uh, 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 noise going on around there, right. that voice becomes very distinct yes, to does. you. But if you're always trying to hear a little bit of everybody... Your mom is confusing in your spirit. That's right. So who is the voice, the voice that God is using to speak to you prophetically? Beautiful. Beautiful. Number one, like I said, it's your spouse. Number two, maybe another apostle, another prophet. But 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 you, you want to get cued into someone's voice. Although you may be fed by a lot of you, you can get fed by everybody. Mm -hmm. But but who is that voice prophetically you to hear good. from? Because that's the person that God's going to use to speak to you concerning your future. Beautiful. You're going to hear them in a whole way. You're not going to hear nobody else mm -hmm. in those areas. Mm -hmm. So as we see this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, point number eight, Dr. Bell. I must trust the spirit of God mm -hmm. and the fear of God that's in my spouse that he or she is not going to say God said to manipulate me. That's right. So oh I trust that, 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 that they're not trying to do some, just right. to manipulate me. Right. You know, and sometimes people do that. Mm -hmm. But this is what God is saying to us as, a, as you know, as wait a, a minute. Mm -hmm. it, let me tell you something. <laughs> your, tr your spouse needs to trust that, mm -hmm. that when you do speak, Yes. That they can be comfortable with that, yes. and it's not manipulation trying to get you to do things their way. Mm -hmm. but, but but and I always say this. I remember one time Kenneth Hagin's son. We they was in a meeting one time, and he said God spoke to my heart to put the state do this. And Kenneth Hagin told him, he said, if it's God at the whole, yeah, it'll hold. right That's now right. it's not the time. In other words, if it's God at the whole, you ain't yes, got really. you ain't got to blurt it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably in those areas. Mm -hmm. So that's something that he know. I remember, I know for God that if it's God, it will hold. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? And if it's God talking to your spouse, it will hold that's right. in those areas. That's right. And I see what Gary says, something he said that God has a higher altar that will speak into our lives, uh -huh. but too many altars will confuse and miss it. That's right. Ooh, that is so true. That's right, Gary. So and that's why we got, we got really careful. And that's why mm -hmm. I've not, mm -hmm. someone came to my library one time and said, Dr. Craig, I thought you have a whole bigger library than this. I said, no, because they ain't got a whole lot of people I listen to. That's right. I get fed from a lot of people because God people got a great word, mm -hmm. but I don't have, a, I, don't, I don't yield my spirit, yes. my hearing ear yes. for my future to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Are you following those areas? Now, so so what is the next one, Dr. Mm -hmm. Bell? So I must believe that he or she has too much God in him or her to pull shenanigans like that. That's right. That's so I right. believe Amen. that my wife, if my wife, I believe that if my wife says some things, mm -hmm. she's not putting shenanigans on me. No. And so and that's what I'm learning how to trust mm -hmm. in her in the voice of God talking to her prophetically in those areas. Amen. Uh point number 10, Dr. Bell. I must believe when it is from God. He can use my spouse as a vessel to speak through. That's right. I, I gotta believe that. Speak it through. That's yeah. right. And, and and so, you know, if it's if, if I'm if I'm if I'm expecting mm -hmm. a word from God, mm -hmm. then many times God is using my spouse, my husband and my wife, to right. talk to me. But I'm looking for someone else. Yeah. But no, like I said, the greatest person on this earth that God will talk to you through when you are a couple mm -hmm. is the voice of your spouse. Yes. And the only way that's been minimized is because we've not learned the value of it. That's that we're true. heirs together mm -hmm. in those areas. So let's look at here. Uh, and, uh, uh, let's look at then how then do you and I revive our confidence in our partner mm -hmm. uh, to speak knowing that my partner trusts me. In other words, I know that Dr. Bell trusts my voice. Yeah. So I've got to now revive my confidence right. to speak to her. Because I know that she's depending on me to say something to this family mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. this ministry. Yes. I got different pastors that, that, that listen and said, Dr. Craig, we're waiting on what has God sent you as an apostle. That's right. So now I got to get my confidence up, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 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 as, a, uh, uh, as a man of God yes. or as my wife's partner yes. to speak to her because I know she's trusting my voice. Amen. And that's a holy thing to have Amen. when your spouse is really trusting what, what God is saying to you. Mm -hmm. So number one, Dr. Bell. I depend on the Holy Spirit to bear witness so that they will know that you're speaking to them. Is not to get them off track, but to get them on track. That's right. So, so I, 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 Holy Spirit, I depend on you. Yes. And I, totally. I can say, I, I can say, look at Holy Spirit. I can say, look, y'all. If it's not God, feel free. 
to let me know because I, right. I don't. I'm not going to get you off track. That's if right. I, I'm believing that what I'm telling you is of God, and I and and, and 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 I want you to believe that what I'm saying with you is designed from my heart to get you on track, not to get you off track. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, point Beautiful. number two, Doctor Bell. I speak for the betterment of the partnership. So you always speak for the betterment of the partnership, and so mm -hmm. so whatever I'm saying. I, it, it, you know, my heart is right, mm -hmm. and 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 I'm wanting to better my marriage, better my ministry, Amen. better my business in those areas. In those areas, mm -hmm. uh, point number three, Doctor Bell. I speak up when I know it is the will of the Lord, and it is a detriment when I don't speak up. That's right. God. So I got to recognize. You know what? Yeah. I know what God is telling me. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> I you know, I don't know if my wife gonna take it. But then, guess mm -hmm. what? If you don't say it. It's going to be a detriment to your whole marriage That's and whole, your whole future. So you got to get that confidence because your spouse is trusting yeah. you to hear from God. Or if you are a pastor, your mm -hmm. congregation is trusting mm -hmm. that you're hearing from God. Mm -hmm. and, so that, and so that's why you've got to speak up. That's right. You know, if God is sensitive, you've got to speak up mm -hmm. because you're holding people's future prophetically. Yes, even because, your wife's future. Even the right. wife's future. That's right. Or your husband's future. That's right. Because God is saying something to you, but you're not speaking up on those areas. Right. In those areas. So you got to get your confidence built up on those areas. That's good. Point number four. I must maintain my mate's trust mm. and their respect for my fear of God. That I'm not going to use what God said as leverage. <laughs> that's right. Amen. <laughs> so that's important. Is that right? Yes. And then point number five, Dr. Bell. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I don't tell everything the Lord tells me about a situation. God may be right raising you up as an intercessor. So, so there might be wow. some things that God has shown me about my wife or some wife about me mm -hmm. that may not be for me to tell them. Mm -hmm. But God has said, I'm really dealing with you so you know how to pray for your wife yeah. or how to pray for your husband. So it's yes. still prophetic. Yes. But, there, but, but there's something that you make that God just showing you, like, all right, I can see mm -hmm. something my wife is going through. And so I don't need to bring that up, but I, now I know how to pray for her in those areas. That's so right. some things is, is being revealed not to be spoken, but to be prayed for. That's good. In those areas. Amen. Okay, uh, point number six. I give my mate the overflow of my relationship with God. That's right. And mm -hmm. that's one of the most powerful things. Yes, it is. That I'm not bringing my mate, my, car, my carnal mind, yes. but my, my mate mm -hmm. is not benefiting my relationship mm -hmm. from God. And so we're both living out of our overflow mm -hmm. and we're trusting God that we have a relationship that we both have with God. That's true. Uh, point number six. That was six. Number seven. My number seven, yes. I do not change my behavior if my mate is not lovely. That's right. So, <laughs> so you got to watch out. Because remember, you're prophetically, you're working prophetically, and you want nothing to disturb that prophetically. No. So you gotta, you gotta trust God that even if my mate is. Is 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 not is not acting lovely right now. Right, right, right. She's still benefiting not from how she's treating me, but for how my relationship with God is. Thank you, Lord. And see, that's another thing because without getting into trouble, well, you know, I, God's been talking to me, but I ain't been because you, I don't, you know, you ain't treating me you right. Change, yeah. You wait on you to change, no. <laughs> So no matter what's going on in the natural realm, uh -huh. I still want to keep myself together so my mate will always benefit Good. because I, I need her voice. Amen. I need her clear voice. I need her trust, but she needs my voice mm -hmm. and my trusted voice because mm -hmm. we're heirs together. Yes, we so we gotta get we gotta get over all that stuff we've been going through. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get over all this, all this, you know, I ain't saying nothing because you ain't no no get rid of all that because Amen. as long as you like that operating individually or holding back the, the new heirs together, that two check signature. That's required yes. is not going through. That's right. So God got some things for a couple mm -hmm. that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard, but 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 they're not God not going to give them to you, release them at the level He wants to, Amen. until you as a couple come together. That's right. The way God originally intended for Adam and Eve, and so this is something that uh, that God wants to do now in your life as believers in Jesus' name, mm -hmm. and that is in the book of Psalms, chapter one thirty eight and verse mm -hmm. number eight. The Lord will perfect the excuse me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. So what God is saying is that couples, mm -hmm. this year, God is going to perfect that which concerns you. Yes. Those things been lacking in your relationship. Mm -hmm. They've been lacking spiritually in anointing. Mm -hmm. Those things been lacking physically in health. And those things have been lacking financially in yes. your wealth. Yes. This will be the year that God will perfect those things which concern you. Mm -hmm. And then I want to get to now what the Holy Spirit gave me this morning yes. prophetically Beautiful. for you as couples. And then if you as an individual, if you're not married, take mm -hmm. this individually. Mm -hmm. But if you're married, I want you to take this as a couple. Yes. 
prophetically Amen. because God told me, he said, this is what God put in my heart. He said, look, he said, there's a blessing mm-hmm. on couples mm-hmm. that I ordained. And Satan's whole goal was to divide that yes. so they could not function in the blessing, but try looking for blessings. My God, yes. So you can either function in the blessing or go out looking for blessings. Mm. Are you following But God said, the way I originally intended, look here in the book of um, uh, on the book of Genesis, chapter number 20, um, chapter, should be chapter 27. Okay, yeah, chapter 27. I put it down there, didn't I? I didn't put it down. Mm. But anyway, it says, and, and, and Esau hated Jacob mm. because of the blessing that was oh on God. him. Wow. So get ready this year because when this blessing begins to flow in your life as a couple, that people go, the haters going to come out. Oh, yeah, most definitely. The person said he hated him because of the blessing that was on him. That's, mm. that's uh, for you later on, that's uh, G- G- Genesis 27 and 41. Yes. And so, so this year, as you begin to function more in, in the blessing, the haters are going to come out. But when you're working together, Mm-hmm. As a couple, mm-hmm. no weapon form against you can prosper. Amen. And every time I against you, you can be condemned. You're going to be more stronger toward that enemy sure. because of the blessing that's on your life. Amen. And so, uh, so this is what the Holy Spirit spoke in my heart this morning about. Mm-hmm. He says, "Tell the people to put a demand on the blessing of God that I placed upon couples." Thank you, Lord. See, God didn't place the blessing on the male; mm-hmm. He placed it on them. Male and female. And female. So and look female. here in the book of Genesis for a moment. In, in, uh, in chapter number 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that creepeth, that moveth upon the earth. So notice God gave Bless. the blessing... <laughs> That's, can you see why the devil wants to create divorce? See, exactly. Why he wants to create division? Mm-hmm. Why he doesn't want you to respect each other's prophetic voices? Mm-hmm. Because God gave the equal dominion so that each one of you would have a prophetic voice. That's right. That would carry dominion and, and, uh, in the spirit world. Yes. And he said, when mm-hmm. the blessing he put on them, mm-hmm. he said, be fruitful. Be fruitful. So, so the blessing is what's going to cause your fruitfulness. Mm-hmm. That's right. The blessing on your relationship is going to cause you the fruitfulness. Mm-hmm. The blessing is going to cause you to multiply and, and keep on replenishing. It's a, it's a continuous flow of anointing. It, God said, teach them that, and put a demand on the blessing right. that I put on couples. Yes. It, that's the way it originally was meant to be. That's the way God originally had intended for it to be. Mm-hmm. And then, I, and then I, I began to look at this this morning mm-hmm. that, uh, that it was the blessing on Noah. You see, Mr. How did Noah build that big old boat? The blessing. <laughs> the blessing. See, notice what he says in, in, in Genesis mm-hmm. chapter number 9, verse number 1, Dr. Bev. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. See, so it was the blessing on Noah. Wow. See, so that blessing transferred now over to Jesus. Noah. Are uh, you following me? Mm-hmm. And then from there, the blessing went. In, uh, uh, oh my God, my, my notes here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so, so from there, the blessing went on to, let me get down here. because Abraham. Yeah, Abraham mm-hmm. uh, in, uh, in those areas. And that is in Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, Dr. Bev. And I will make of thee a great nation. Mm-hmm. And I will bless thee mm-hmm. and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Mm-hmm. And I will bless them that bless thee, mm-hmm. and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. See, so Abraham now operating in this blessing. Mm-hmm. You found, and this is the blessing that God put on couples. Yes. And that's why I said the devil is trying to always trying to drive wedges between couples. That's so right. that blessing on, of Abraham, um, that blessing of uh, of uh, of of, Ab- uh, of Adam and Eve is on you yes. as a couple. Yes. And that's why the devil got in there real quick to try to divide mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Try to talk to the wife without the husband or the husband without the wife. Mm-hmm. But, 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 and so, but now God is bringing that back together again yes. in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. So notice when this, this blessing that was on Abraham, mm-hmm. it caused Abraham to become rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, Genesis 13, 2. And Abram was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold. Mm-hmm. The blessing will make you rich this year. Mm-hmm. Can you receive that? That's right. Now, now mm-hmm. I, I don't know about you or not. But that's when God put that in my heart this morning. He said, tell them. Yeah. Said, Amen. And I don't know about Dr. Bell, but I'm receiving this. I'll that receive this year, yeah. if you flow in the blessing as a couple, right, right. or if you're single, yeah. but, but if you're married, it's so important to do this as a couple, that this year, not going after a blessing, 
Yes. But understanding the blessing that God put on you, That's good. this year, you're going to move out of poverty into wealth. The blessing is going to cause you to become rich today mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Notice what, did, did we read uh, uh, Genesis 13, 2, Dr. Bill? Yes. We, yes. How, how about uh, Proverbs 10, 22? Okay, that's what does that say? The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he add no sorrows with it. So notice that God said, the blessing of the Lord. Yeah. See, not going after the blessing, Come but on. the blessing that's the on blessing. you Amen. is that it will make you rich. Yeah. And he adds no sorrow. So it is the blessing. That's good. He is the blessor of yes. God. Yes. That, that's taken the blessing that he placed on Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. that was on Abraham, that was on Noah. Mm -hmm. And now that blessing this year is going to make you rich. God said, if they'll, if they'll trust Ooh. your word, that I can cause them to be rich this year. Yes. Glory to God. Can you receive that this year? Amen. Amen. Praise God. And so God uh, uh, said, Abraham, no matter what's going on in your life this year, mm -hmm. that, that, that the blessing is what's going to be operating. Genesis 22, verse 17, Dr. Beth. That in blessing I will bless thee, mm -hmm. and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, mm -hmm. and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Oh my God, can you see that? My, my, my. God says this year, get ready, blessing. That, that, and I'm going to bless you with the stars of heaven. Because mm -hmm. that's what's on your life, that's the blessing. Mm -hmm. And he said that, that your seed is going to possess the gates of his enemies. That word possess means to conquer. Yes. It's going to conquer the gate of his enemies. Yes. That means everything that the devil has that belongs to you, that, that right now you're going to go through this year with, that, with the blessing. Yes, with the blessing. On your life. And you're going to take, you're going to control, you're going to defeat, and you're going to conquer every Amen. enemy that's coming against your family, that's coming against your home, coming against your Amen. marriage. Because now you're operating together prophetically. Mm -hmm. And there's certain things God going to tell my wife about this, mm -hmm. other than tell me about it, but us working together. Together. Are uh, you in yes. agreement? And, and trusting each other's prophetic voice mm -hmm. is how God's going to do it. Yes. God not going to tell me everything. Amen. and not going to tell us my wife everything. Mm -hmm. But we're going to learn to trust each other as we're both hearing from God this year in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. So, mm -hmm. so notice what God says here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this, so Abraham got this blessing on him. Mm -hmm. and, and this blessing is going to cause Abraham to defeat his enemies and conquer his enemies. So then Abraham takes this blessing mm -hmm. and transfer it over it to Isaac, his okay. son. Yes. And what does it say, Dr. Beth? Genesis. Uh, uh, there in uh, Genesis 25, 5. Uh -huh. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. Mm, can you see that? <laughs> so Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. Mm -hmm. So that means that, that whatever's on your mentor mm -hmm. or your spiritual father mm -hmm. is, on you. Uh, is on you. It said he transferred all that he had onto Isaac. Mm -hmm. So 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 there's no uh, there's no graces. That that go to heaven. Come on. But they're here. Yes, right. And and, and and Elijah had enough sense to say to Elijah, when you leave, <laughs> I want all that's on you, Elijah. But also I want a double portion double. of what's on you. That's right. Because just like Abraham transferred the blessing mm -hmm. on to Isaac, Elijah said, I want the blessing that's on you mm -hmm. onto my life. Mm -hmm. And Elijah says, Come it's, it's a hard thing, but you can have it. Mm -hmm. Because the blessings are transferable. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, they're transferable. Right. I, I, I believe what I know this for a fact, that when I was on the, on the Apostle Frederick C. Price, the, the, the ministry of MTI yes. was transferred on to me. Yes, it was. Even Apostle Price publicly acknowledged this. He said, you know what? I believe that God allowed a, a pastor, a, a, at that time, Dr. and Mrs. Craig mm -hmm. to go through MTI long mm -hmm. enough and he kept, had me keep it open long enough for them to go through it. He said, because they've taken it farther than I thought it would go. Mm -hmm. What he was saying is that, 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 that the grace on MTI, because MTI came from him. That was his original vision. Amen. I just received it like Elijah did with Elijah. That's right. And then I believe for a double portion of that. Mm -hmm. but, but, see, but see, so that grace of MTI came on me. Yes. And Dr. Bell, while you're following those areas. So, so, just, so the, tr the, the transferable blessing. Mm. And, and, and today, God put in my heart yes, that it's coming on you as a couple. That's that's right. In Jesus, you receive that in the yes, name of Jesus. Yes. Praise God. So look what he says here, that this blessing now is being transferred over the blessing that's on Isaac now mm -hmm. that came from Abraham right. is now being transferred mm -hmm. on to Jacob. Genesis chapter 28 now uh -huh. and verse number three. three. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee mm -hmm. that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Mm. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee 
and to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, <coughs> which God gave unto Abraham. <coughs> you see, he says, mm. I'm a, and he tell, he's telling Jacob, I just tell him, tell him his, his son Jacob, that God going to give you the blessing, the blessing of Abraham. Right. Because that blessing is still being transferred. Mm -hmm. That blessing is still being transferred in Jesus' name. And guess what? Mm -hmm. God, Jesus made a, a bold move <laughs> to make sure all the blessings <laughs> that was on Adam and Eve, yes, exactly. that, that, that moved out because of their, their, their disobedience. Right. But God used Abraham to get it back on and Jacob and Isaac and all those, praise God. Jesus said it's time to remove the curse forever Hallelujah. and keep this blessing yes. on everyone that, that will receive this thing by faith. Yes. And so notice in the book of Galatians now, chapter 3 and verse 29. 13. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Galatians 3.13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, mm -hmm. being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that the blessing of Abram, Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Can you see that? So he said, <clears throat> we're going to receive that promise of the Spirit. What that promise mm -hmm. of the Spirit? The blessing. Yes, the blessing. That the blessing may come on us. That was the promise Thank of the Spirit. You, he said, we got to receive it by faith. Yes. So I'm saying right now as a couple, receive this by faith. I like you said, Gary, you mm -hmm. said that you received from that grace that was on us. That's right. You, you was with us for a lot of years. Yes. You and your wife, you oh, know, served. Y'all served in the MTI with me. Y'all served yes. in the ministry. Yes. And that blessing is on your life. That grace right. is on your life in Jesus' name. So I agree with that, Gary. Amen. In Jesus' name. So, so look what he says. Mm -hmm. That God give the, this is, this is Isaac talking to Jacob. Mm -hmm. God give you the blessing mm -hmm. of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. And to your seed. And through that blessing, you're going to go through and you're going to inherit the land. That's right. So a lot of things that God's going to bring you into mm -hmm. is not going to be by human effort. Come on. As much as it is understanding the blessing. And God yes. told me to tell the people, put a demand on the blessing. That's good. Don't that's demand good. it from people. Right. Put a demand on the blessing yes. that's on you. You, you are blessed in yes. Jesus' name in, in, in those areas. So, mm -hmm. so now as we see this then mm -hmm. in Galatians chapter number 3 mm -hmm. and verse number 29, Dr. Bill. And if you be Christ. Then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. It's right. And then Galatians 3, 9. So then they which are, excuse me. So then they be of, which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. See, so that blessing that was on Abraham. Yes. That Christ took away Thank all God. the curse. Thank you, Father. Now that the blessing may come on you, mm -hmm. but receive by faith. Yes. So as couples right now, I want you to receive this blessing, mm -hmm. the blessing. Yes. By faith, mm -hmm. right now, it's on you. Mm -hmm. And that blessing this year makes you rich this year. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. So we can see then that the blessing was on Joseph. Mm. Is he, we said, how did Joseph come from the prison yeah. to the palace? <laughs> the blessing was on that no, boy. That's right. And it wasn't money at that time. That's right. Because Joseph was in prison. He, he wasn't getting paid, mm -hmm. but the blessing was on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. See, notice here in, 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 in Genesis chapter 39, there in verse number five, Dr. Beth. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass mm -hmm. from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Mm -hmm. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. See that? <laughs> so what was it that took Joseph mm -hmm. from the prison to the palace? Mm -hmm. It was not his good looks. Come on. It's that the blessing was on him. Yes. Whether he was in the field or he was in the house. Right. So, so no matter where you go. No matter where you are. That's right. That's right. Because the yes. blessing, he said, well, I need, I need to just change. No, 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 no. You don't want to change <laughs> geographically. Okay. You want to change internally. That's good. And begin to understand it's the blessing. Yes. That was upon Joseph that said that God prospered everything he did, mm -hmm. whether he was in the field or in the house. Mm -hmm. So you, right now, you're in the right place. Yes. Bloom where you're planted. That's it. Get the blessing on your life and write that, that blessing. Because that blessing is all us about Dr. Bill when we said the bomb in the church. Mm -hmm. When God gave me that revelation about the That's blessing, right, right then the, people start coming to the church when they do their help. We live in the Obama church. They start coming to the church because the blessing started working. Yes, it did. And people that even didn't even like me started having me do yes, their hair. Yes, it did. <laughs> Are you following me? Why? Because you, you, pe people, God will cause your enemies yeah. to help pay your bills. Come on now. When the blessing is on your That's life. That's right. Because God said, I'll bless them to bless you. That's and God right. put on them to be good to you. Amen. And to show you favor in Jesus' yes. name. So notice here. That, that even with Job, when the devil wanted to attack, yeah. attack Job, uh -huh. 
the devil made a bold <laughs> declaration in that area. Uh -huh. he, he said, I, I want to attack him. But look what, the, look what the devil said in Job chapter 1 verse 10. Has thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand and and his substance is increased in the land. See what he wow. the devil said, wait a minute. <laughs> he said, you got a hedge on him. See. And you blessed him. Mm -hmm. And that blessing is on him. I can't touch him. <laughs> so until God said, okay, I'm removing that for a moment. But you can't, you can't deal with his life. The devil had no access None. to Job because the blessing was on That's his right. life. That's right. It was only when he began to operate on the wrong track that the devil had access to get into them. So I'm telling you today, in that, in, remember Job had to deal with his wife. The wife says, go and curse God and die. Oh See, so, so he, he had some disagreement in there right. and the devil got in there. That's right. So the whole goal is when you walk in that blessing, the devil can't have access to what's on your life until you and your spouse get in division or, 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 or come out of that place of agreement in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So I want you to see there, and I've seen a scripture in the Message Bible this month. To me, that was a great blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a little bit longer today because this is the okay. word God gave me to give to your couples. Mm -hmm. And I don't know my seven of the bell. We're receiving this word right now yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. So notice here what God says in the book of Ezekiel now okay. in chapter number 34, verse 26. And I will make them the... And the places around about all my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. Oh my God. Are you ready for this showers, year? Showers, yes. Get ready for showers of blessing. You know what a shower means? A shower means it's, it's not all over the whole city. That's right. So then, you know, we say over, we're in Las Vegas, West, over, and Henderson is raining, but over here it's not, the, the sun's still shining. Those are showers. Those are showers. Yeah. That means that the shower going to get on you this year. Come on. They may not be on someone else right next door to you, but it's going to be on your life. Yes. God's going to have showers of blessings going to be on you God. this year as a couple mm -hmm. as you come together mm -hmm. in agreement in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And I like this other scripture where it says here in the book of Genesis. This is in the Message Bible, though. Okay. Genesis 49 and verse number 25, Dr. Bev, in the Message Bible. The God of your father, may, may he help you. And may the strong God, may he give you his blessing. Blessings tumbling out of the skies. Blessing bursting up from the earth. Mm. Blessings of breast and womb. May the blessing of your fathers exceed the blessings of the ancient mountains, surpass the delights of the eternal hills. So get ready for wow. blessings. Blessings. The Bible said, burst out of the skies. <laughs> Glory to God. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. He says it, it's going to exceed the blessing of the people that you sing, of your, of your former mentors. He said the blessing on your life is yeah. going to exceed that of your former member, uh, mentors. Yeah. It's going to come everywhere this year. Yeah. I want you to hold on to these scriptures this yes. year because this is what God has released in the spirit realm mm -hmm. for those that are receiving in Jesus' name. Yes. And Dr. Bell, we're receiving this in the name of yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And, uh, and praise God. Now, mm -hmm. from this day forward, this is another word. Mm -hmm. From this day forward, the blessing is on you. Mm -hmm. And everything you do from this day forward is going to prosper. Praise God. Can you receive that? Yes. So from this day forward, when you give your tithe, mm -hmm. you got that? Mm -hmm. You're not tithing for from what you've done uh, in, in your own work. Right. You're tithing from what the blessing has produced. Wow. Not to get blessed. That's good. I'm saying again, your prosperity this year mm -hmm. will be from that which the blessing has produced. Mm. Are you following me? Not to get blessed. You're not tithing to get blessed, but the blessing wow. has caused blessings to come on your life. Yes. Now you bring the tithe as a result of what the blessing has produced, mm. but you're not tithing to get the blessing okay. this year. Wow. You got that? So notice what, what happened here with Abraham mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 14 and verse number 19. Mm -hmm. And he blessed him and said, blessed be Abram of the most high God, mm -hmm. possessor of heaven and earth, mm -hmm. and, and blessed be the most high God which have delivered thine enemies into thine hand, and he <clears throat> gave him tithe of all. Notice Abraham was not tithing to get blessed. Come on. See, he was the, already the blessed. The blessing had called. That's right. The, he was already blessed. Mm -hmm. The blessing had produced the blessing. Yes. The blessing had caused him to win the war. Okay. The blessing had caused him to get the goods. My and God. now he's tithing, mm. not for the blessing, but because of the blessing. Wow. He's tithing as a result of the blessing now. Wow. So this year... The blessing is going to take you places mm. that your eyes have not seen. 
And you and, and, and you're not gonna tie what I'm tied to the Lord can bless me. No, 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 no. You're tied to the cause he has blessed you. Yes. You're looking around at all that God has done in your life, and now you bring your tithe to him as worship. Wow. And appreciation for what he's done, not to get him to do it. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. You following that today? That is so and, good. And, and so we said the same thing about, about uh, uh, we can say the same thing about Jacob. Mm -hmm. Jacob did not tithe because of what God uh, mm -hmm. uh, to get God to bless him. Mm -hmm. Jacob tithe said, Lord, when you when the blessings flow in my life, okay. I promise wow. to give you one tenth of all. See, notice what, notice what Jacob said that. That's important to understand okay. that. Okay. Uh, and that's in the book of Genesis, chapter number uh, 28. Uh, twenty-eight, verse twenty-two. Uh -huh. And this stone, which I have set for a pillar, mm. shall be God's house. And of all that thine hath given me, I will surely give a tenth unto thee. So he said, I'm not tithing mm. to, to cause you to bless me. Okay. I'm, not cause, I'm not tithing for you to give me bread. I'm tithing, he said, because of the bread that you've given me. Mm. I'm not tithing and bringing my worship to you mm. as, as a tither. Honoring you and worshiping you for the things you have done, yes. not to get you to do it. Okay. So sometimes people are trying to tie to get God to do it, mm -hmm. and God says, "No, no, no. I, the blessing is what's going to cause it to happen." It's good. My but then I want you to bring the tithe as worship, honor me for what I have done in your life. Mm -hmm. You're following that today. Mm -hmm. So notice what he says here. Then mm -hmm. that, that again, we said it, it's, it's it's worship. Genesis, uh, Deuteronomy twenty six and verse number ten. And now behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which mm. thou, O Lord, hast given me. Mm -hmm. And thou hast set it before the Lord thy God and worship before the Lord thy God. See, so so the time and moment is worship. Yes. It is not paying God. Mm. It is not asking God to bless you. My God. But God says you're, you're not bringing him worship. Yes. You're following and saying for the other thing that you have given me. Not that I want you to give me, but the things you have given me. Yes. So it's the blessing producing the fruit mm -hmm. and the tithe is coming as worship for the things that God has given you mm -hmm. that the blessing has produced, mm -hmm. not to produce the mm -hmm. blessing. That's good. You got that? Very That's important good. to understand that. So mm -hmm. as we see that then, so therefore when Malachi talks about this mm -hmm. in Malachi 3.10, what did he say, Dr. Bell? Bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse, that mm -hmm. there may be meat in mine house. Mm -hmm. And prove me now, he would say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. So notice he's saying here that the blessing, mm -hmm. I want you to bring the tithe on the, from what the blessing produced. Mm -hmm. You follow me? He said, and then what happens is, the blessings will flow. Yeah. You enter to a continuous flow of blessings that the that the blessing has produced. Mm -hmm. But when I when I when the blessing produces the things in your life, yeah. Yeah. bring me the tithe, and it's gonna cause that that, that a continuous flow of the blessings, yeah. not the blessing. Come on. The blessing is the cause. Yes. Blessings are the result. Mm. So you're bringing the tithe mm -hmm. as worship of what God has done, and that activates the blessings yes. and manifestation wow. more and more and more in your life in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And then God says also in verse number eleven, mm -hmm. what is it out to be verse number eleven? I will rebuke the devourer. For your sake, mm -hmm. and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither sh shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. So the blessing, I said, the blessing is going to rebuke the devourer. <laughs> but but it's your worship that that's causing that to happen. That's good. It's, it's you bringing that time to the Lord, not for to get what you want to do, but for what He has already done. The blessing is what's rebuking the devourer. Yes. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And then as a result of that, the continued flow of the blessings, yes. the message of life. Rebuking the devourer, all the things happen as a result of the blessing on your life, and you keeping your point yourself in a point of worship, yes. bringing God to your, the first one tenth of your income, yes. and not as payment, but as right. worship unto Him. As worship, you got that very Beautiful. important. And see, so from this day forward, when you are a tither because of the blessing and you're worshiping God, your seed becomes prosperous. Yes, it does. No, you're not just giving, but now the seed that you sow becomes prosperous. And look at this scripture here in the book of Zechariah, uh, chapter number 8, verse 12. For the seed shall be prosperous, mm -hmm. the vine get, shall give her fruit, mm -hmm. and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the 
the remnant of this people to possess all these things. See what I'm saying? So now that you're, wow. that you're worshiping God with your tithing, God said, I'm going to cause your seed to be prosperous yes. now. What happened? A lot of people, they, 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 they give their soul you know, to see, you know, well, I just want to sow to help the ministry. No, 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 no. Mm. Now you are a worshiper of God. Yes. And the blessing is on your life. Yes. And, and you are a tither, worshiping God with the t- He said, if not known, the seed that you sow to be prosperous mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cause your seed to prosper. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cause you to, to possess the things you've been wanting to possess. Because mm-hmm. now the blessing is on you. The blessing is on your life. And now in Jesus' name, he says, I'm going to cause your seed to be prosperous. So now mm-hmm. I declare over, this, over you this year Amen. that every seed that God yes. takes to sow yes. because of the best in your life is going to be prosperous. Mm-hmm. And, and it's going to cause you to inherit things that you said, man, I didn't know I'll get, I didn't know I'll get this rich this year. I know a person will come in this life, mm-hmm. but because you're Thank operating you, in this blessing Thank you, Father. and you're flowing, the seed that you sow mm-hmm. is going to be prosperous this year. And, and, and this is an example of that. Jacob, I mean, uh, Isaac got a hold of that. Mm-hmm. Here it is, famine in the land. My God. And during the famine, everybody start holding it back. Oh, well, I, well, I said, we'll do more, but you know, man, it's tough right now. But Jacob, but Isaac said, you know what? The blessing is on me. That's right. The blessing of my father Abraham is on me. Yes. And I understand when that blessing of my life, my seed will my be seed. prosperous. Yes, it will. You're following those areas. So Genesis chapter 26 and verse number 12, look what he says here. Then Isaac sowed in that land mm-hmm. and received in the same year an hundredfold. Mm-hmm. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very rich. And the, oh my God, very great. Very great. Yeah, and then verse, verse 14. <clears throat> Isaac. Oh, I didn't put verse 14. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay, verse 14 says that for he had possessions of flocks, possessions of herds, and a great store of service in the Philistine. Mm-hmm. In other words, that, that mm-hmm. seed was prosperous, wasn't it? Yes, it was. He put that seed. In, in famine. Mm. And yet the seed is prosperous because of the blessing. Mm-hmm. And it says here that in, uh, it said in the Lord, uh, it said he sold that seed, right. got a hundred year, a hundred fold that year, and the Lord blessed him. Yes. The blessing caused his seed to prosper. Yes. See, so this year, when you understand this, he said the Lord blessed him and the seed that he sold that year, the mm-hmm. seed that he sold that year mm-hmm. brought in a hundredfold. Why? Because yes. the seed was prosperous. That's right. The Lord's blessing mm-hmm. was on that seed. Mm-hmm. Are you following me? Mm-hmm. And then I like when the message Bible said, that was your reference, mm-hmm. Dr. Bell. The message Bible mm-hmm. says this, and uh, uh, say what, Dr. Bell? Isaac planted crops in that land and took in a huge harvest. God blessed him. The man got richer and richer by the day until he was very wealthy. Oh my, my God. God. That prophet was on your life this year. <laughs> God gave me his word this morning. Yeah. Are you following me? That prophetic could tell the people to put a demand on the blessing of now that you're mm-hmm. together prophetically as a mm-hmm. husband and wife team, mm-hmm. now put a put a demand on the blessing on your life. Yes. Because the blessing is going to cause the seed that you sow, go cause oh you're going to worship God with your tithing. Yes. But then he said the blessing on that tithe. Now on your life is going to call your yes. seed that you sow this year to be prosperous. Yes. And he said that Joseph, uh, Jacob, I mean, Isaac got a hundredfold return that year. Why? They said, because the Lord blessed him. That's right. And then the, 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 the message the Bible says, when he planted those crops, mm. because the blessing was on his, that's, that's a business. He was, that's right. That was a business he had. Amen. He planted the crops that year mm-hmm. and he took in a huge harvest mm-hmm. that year. Mm-hmm. And God blessed him. And the blessing of God was on his business that That's year. Right. And the man got richer and richer by God. the day. Wow. My so God. Very rich. It's very yeah. wealthy. Mm-hmm. So I'm declaring that blessing on my son, Dr. Amen. Bell. I'm declaring that both of us, and you too, you receive this. Yes. Yes. I'm declaring that we, that you and us, we receive prophetically. Mm-hmm. The, uh, and, and we trust the, the prophetic voice. Because mm-hmm. there's Amen. something that I'm going to tell Dr. Bell. Mm-hmm. Are they going to tell me? Yes. We're going to learn how to trust the voice of God yes. because that blessing mm-hmm. that was on Adam and Eve is now on us mm-hmm. and now on you in Jesus' name. Right. And you and, and the blessing as you tithe this mm-hmm. year is, is, is not going to come to get God to bless you, but because of the blessing that the ble- because yes. of what God the blessing has produced in your life, uh-huh. not to get it to produce it. And I'm the creator that, that the that your seed this year yes. that you sow. Because of the blessing, mm-hmm. whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, yes. this year 
is going to produce a hundredfold in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And I'm declaring according to this, what God said to Isaac here, that the blessing is going to cause you to get richer and richer by the day. By the day. You, can come in, you can come in expectation That's for right. things to increase in your life by the day That's right. until you become very wealthy. Amen. Can you receive now? I know the mind try to calculate this. How is it going to happen? Right. Hey, you, you know, Abraham didn't know how it happened, but the, in, in chapter 12, he didn't have no money. Genesis chapter 12, mm -hmm. but in chapter 13, you're very rich. Mm -hmm. It don't take God long to do what he's Amen. doing, but you must believe it. You must believe it. You, must, right. you must come into agreement as husband and wife and start trusting the prophetic anointing on their lives. Yes. And then also begin to operate in the blessing as a couple, mm -hmm. as God originated in Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. to be fruitful and multiply yes. and be put to the earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I know it took a bit longer this morning. That's all right. But God put this in my heart. Yes. I want you to share with the people because yes. this is how they need to operate. Because, because you know, I... I I'm requesting from on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. this year your tithe. Amen. But I didn't want to request that. Now, some of you that you're blown to church, you should give your tithe to your church. But many of you, we are your church. Mm -hmm. Many of you as apostles, we, we, we are your pastors in those areas. And so, so, uh, so I'm going to be requesting your tithing. Not to get God to bless you, but because of the blessing that's on your yes, life. Amen. You are the blessed of the Lord. Amen. Are you following me? And, 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 and from this day forward, as we request your seed to support the ministry, mm -hmm. we declare because of the blessing that's on your life, yes. every seed that you sow will prosper. Amen. And that you will be richer and richer by the day. By the day. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And, to you, and we decree divine wealth on your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Dr. Craig, are you just talking this? No, no, no. I'm giving you the word of God. Amen. And I'm saying that's what the God gave me this morning. He said, share with the people because there are people that I'm going to connect you with this year mm -hmm. that's going to believe this, going to walk in it, yes. not only in head knowledge, but in manifestation in Jesus' yes. name. So I'm going to pray for you right now as I've shared the word of God with you. you and I'm going to believe God with you for the supernatural grace that's on myself and Dr. Bev, mm -hmm. the favor and the blessing that's yes. on us. Yes. That is also like, just like Abraham with Isaac, Isaac with Jacob, but also Jesus has given it to all of us as believers. Yes. I'm trusting God right now. Thank you. It's God. on you as a couple. Yes. And if you're single, on you as an individual. Mm -hmm. And myself, if you're single, myself, not the bear coming to agree with you. We, yes. we become your number two. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, as an apostle of God, you, you gave me this word about the, <laughs> being an apostle and the voice of faith for the people of God. So God, I've shared the word that I believe you gave me this morning. And now I'm asking you, God, to open the eyes of every person to see in the realm of the spirit of that which you have released out of heaven this morning. And I pray, God, as they receive that, they'll act on it and they'll begin as of today you, experiencing Father. that supernatural, the, the blessing on their life thank that'll you, produce Father. blessings yes. in every area of their lives in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you that from this day forward as their tithe is not a debt that they owe, but it's worship they bring to you, Father, and that every seed they sow will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we decree it and we declare it by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Man. It's done. Yes, it is. It's done. Praise God. Now, what I want you to do, like I said, you know, we're partners together. We're partners. You know, I, my, I do my best to hear from God uh, in my son of the bell. So what I want you to do now, uh, for you, those that are partnered with me, and, and many of you are part of me in your tithing, some of you are partnered with my your seed, I'm the opportunity to do this now. Mm -hmm. Let's get on target. Let's amen. get on track with this right now. That's right. And let's start tapping in to the blessing and the favor of God on your life. So right now we're gonna, we're gonna prepare to receive that. Praise and how you do that, number one, is uh, right there on Facebook or YouTube, you click that link where it says Partner Seed. Glory yes, to God, because yes. your seed will be prosperous this year. Yes, it will. Amen. Also, the cash app there, a dollar sign apostle I am, and also a Zelle is I am Ministries. Also, that, that QR code right there, mm -hmm. it works also. Take it right to the giving area. But I'm, it's right there on Facebook or YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just click that, and, and let's, let's come into partnership Amen. right now. Yes. You know, you don't want to be a looky loo this year. That's right. You know, there's, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that, that that are looking loose, they just say, well, well, can I, maybe I'm going to listen to this, this live. I'm going to listen to that live. Mm -hmm. Well, and nothing wrong with that. It's good, good information out there. Yes. But, but, but for you that say, Dr. Craig, God has keyed my, my ear to hear the voice of, the, of, of God for, uh, uh, through you and Dr. Bell. Yes. Those are the ones I'm speaking to. Amen. I'm not speaking to everybody. I'm speaking to those that, that God has, has cued us and said, mm -hmm. I received from you. I'm being blessed by the word of God, you know, and, 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 you know, in those areas. And now I want to worship God yes. with my tithing. Yes. 
and, and, and as, I, as I give it into your ministry, and also my seed gonna be prosperous. Mm -hmm. So those that God says, you know, say, you know what, my, my seed gonna be prosperous. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sow my seed this year because now the blessing is on my seed Amen. because I'm connected to the voice that's coming that's of God through Doctor Bell and, and and Mrs. Uh, Doctor Craig and, and Mrs. Mrs. Bell <laughs> and all, all whatever it is. Praise God! But I'm connected. We're connected Amen. together. Yes, we and, are. And so <laughs> I decree that on your life. <laughs> I decree it on your family. I decree it on your marriage. And you that are single, I decree it on you. That Amen. me and Dr. Bell, until you, um, whether you get married or not, me and Dr. Bell becomes your number two. Praise we, we're in agreement with you as a yes, single person. Yes, that the same favor, same blessing is on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm going to pray. I'm going to receive your tithe and your offering on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ the high priest of our Hallelujah. confession. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank I you, thank you for the revelation that you brought today. I ask God that every person that is Amen. listening to my, your voice through me today, yes, they hear with clarity and they'll, they act on it in yes, faith. Jesus. In faith, God, and start yes. seeing beginning now, now supernatural Father. doors opening to them, Father. Yes, supernatural favor, increase and blessing come to them in abundance, Father. They'll never lack again another day in their lives oh, as we partner together in faith. So we give you thanks for it, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Dr. Bill, amen. give a final word. Yes. Let your seed make you prosperous this year. Yes. Because of the blessing. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, Gary, God bless you, man of God. Bonnie, Hallelujah. I see you on there this morning. Amen. Bishop Good Rick, morning. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and all of you that are coming on, thank God for all of you. We're yes. partners together. Now, tomorrow is what? Friday? It's tomorrow Friday? Today's Thursday. Wednesday? Tomorrow's Thursday. We, we've been so busy like that. <laughs> Tomorrow's Thursday. So I got two more days of, of coming together uh, with this word concerning couples. Amen. My son, another bell, Saturday is our anniversary. But we, we've been go, we've been going for breakfast every morning. Cause I said, I, 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 you know, I, you know, I said, well, you know, we got to go cook there every morning. We're just going out for breakfast every morning Amen. and enjoying ourselves in Jesus' name. So, but but on Saturday is our actual anniversary, forty eight years, mm -hmm. and uh, so you know, hey, you know, you, you all can sow a seed there too Amen. in your relationship. You That's sow a right. seed in our relationship yes. for the grace that you know we got fifty one years in. Amen. So you sow that seed of longevity. Thank you. For your relationship in Amen. Jesus' name. And you believe God and we agree with you in Jesus' name on that area. So again, until tomorrow at the same time, this has been Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying May God's, God's riches and, and his very best, best be yours. God bless. Bye-bye now. Great day.